You like fishing, huh? Love it. But you don't eat fish. Hate it. Think about all those fish out there under the surface that we can't see. They have no idea what's going on here. Above the water. They don't even care. The life is simple. You don't have to wonder why bad things happen to good people. Why there's so much hatred in the world. Why for some people life may never be fair. Nope. They have no idea. Maybe that's why I like to fish. That's when it hit me. My dad was actually wrestling with the very concerns he thought I'd been wrestling with this whole time. Okay. It's getting late. I wanted to tell him what was really bothering me because I knew it would put his mind at ease. But I was too embarrassed to confess my stupid, silly troubles to a grown man with real ones. Hey! <laughs> hey, you got one! <laughs> All right, take it slow, take it slow. And in that moment, my dad wasn't a black man in Alabama in 1968 or a father worried about his kids. He was just a man fishing. That's when I understood everything he didn't know how to say. I had a brilliant spark of inspiration that fueled me to write all night. And as I've taken you through the entire life of Dr. King, from his seminary days in Boston to his Poor People's Campaign, I summarize with this. Dr. King is like the fish my dad caught, and black people are like my dad. We don't eat the fish, no. We appreciate what the fish taught us and try to live our lives, just like he did. Okay, in hindsight, it was pretty ham-fisted and forced, but to a 12-year-old, it was brilliant. Just lovely, Dean.